Okay, so in this question, I want to calculate the line integral of f along this given curve c by selecting an oriented surface m such that the boundary of m is this curve c, calculating the flux of f through that surface m and applying Stokes' theorem. Well, let's recall that Stokes' theorem says that the line integral of f along a curve is equal to the flux of f through a surface whose boundary is that curve, as long as they're oriented the right way. So when I find a surface m, I need its boundary to be this curve c, which is the circle of radius 5 centered at the origin, where z equals 0, oriented counterclockwise, so that it fits the right-hand rule. So basically, my thumb is going to be the orientation, and then my fingers will curl in the direction that the uh, circle is oriented in. So the circle is oriented counterclockwise, so I curl like that, my thumb points up. So the easiest way to close the circle is with a hemisphere. So since I want it to be oriented upward, I'm going to pick the top half of the hemisphere and orient it upward. Okay, and then now to find the flux of f, f uh, is just x, y, z, um, I need to calculate the curl of f, dot it with a normal vector, and integrate over m. So let's find the curl of f. I'm going to use a, a matrix. And we can think about the curl of f as the gradient operator and the cross product of the gradient operator in f. So the second column in this matrix here is going to be the gradient operators d dx, d dy, and d dz. And then the third column is just going to be my vector f. So x, y, and z. So to take this cross product, I'm going to think about a cofactor expansion. So start with i. Cut the top row and cut the leftmost column. And I have a determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix right here. So I have the partial derivative of z with respect to y, which is 0, minus the partial derivative of y with respect to z, which is also 0. So now let's do j. So still cut the top row, now cut the middle column. So the partial derivative of z with respect to x is 0, minus the partial derivative of x with respect to z, which is also 0. And now let's do k. So cut the rightmost column, and I have the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, which again is just going to be 0. So the curl of f is the 0 vector. And no matter what I get for my normal vector, when I dot it with this, I'm just going to get 0. So I'm essentially going to be integrating 0, which is just 0. So the flux of f through this hemisphere m is 0. And that also means that the line integral of f along this circle c is zero as well.